What's up everybody? This is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode Patrick the Game. So Patrick the Game is about when Patrick wants to make his own board game because apparently knowing Patrick he never knew before that people, well in this case fishes, actually create board games. So when Patrick seemed to be intrigued by that, he wanted to make his own board game. And so when Patrick does make his own board game, he invites Squidward, Spongebob, and Sandy over to his rock. So that way they can be the first to play his board game. I thought Patrick the Game was just a very well made episode. And Spongebob greatness, it is very simple. It's a very well written plot. There's plenty of gags to be enjoyed in this episode with very good execution, very good pacing. And it's nice to see Sandy be involved in this episode. So of course the funny part is that Patrick didn't know that fishes actually make these board games. So. You know, the first few minutes of this episode is Patrick trying to get ideas, and I love how Patrick is coming to Squidward for all of his, like, inventions. Like, Patrick created Tic Tac, even though that's already existed. So basically, the first few minutes is just Patrick having these games that's already been done before, so I thought that was really funny. And then, of course, after... He did a couple of test runs with Squidward. That's when he goes with Sandy. And then Sandy tells Patrick that for him to combine some of the things that he likes and to turn to a board game, which I actually thought that was a very cool thing of Sandy to tell Patrick. And then from there, pretty much by the second half of this episode, that's when we get to the whole everyone playing Patrick's board game. It was pretty funny for the most part how Patrick is just writing down the rules as, as they're just playing the board game. How Squidward, he keeps making these funny, rude comments, but they're actually funny. They're not mean-spirited comments, like when he says, more like a peep of garbage. Everyone was really great in this episode. Really love Patrick here as well. It was just nice to see him gather all these ideas to make his own board game. It was just very well written. I laughed plenty of times definitely during this episode. It was just one of those episodes that was just nice to sit back and relax to because of the simplicity of it and how the simplistic idea was handled. And I thought on the writer's part, they did a really good job with this episode. Now my only problems with Patrick the game is that there's this running gag where Patrick would get mad at Squidward for messing up on the game or just saying something. And for the most part, it was really funny. But then once you get... In the last few minutes of the episode, it started to get repetitive. It started to get a little bit annoying because I thought Patrick was going a little bit too far. And it just started to run out of steam, at least when it got towards the end. It was fine for the most part, don't get me wrong, but it did start to run out of its steam by the time the episode was hitting towards the end. And then speaking of towards the end, that really would be like my biggest flaw with the episode in all honesty. The last couple of minutes, it felt like the writers, although still trying, it felt like in the last couple of minutes they got really lost in their writing. They didn't know exactly how that how to end the episode. I was still entertained by the last couple of minutes, don't get me wrong, but I did feel like the episode didn't know where to really end the story. Because of that, the ending itself, it was rushed, and it just ends very abruptly. Overall, guys, this was a really good episode. I had a really good time with Patrick the Game. I thought it had a very well handled concept. I thought it was very well written. I thought it had a really good execution to it. And it was just nice to see SpongeBob Squidward and Sandy actually going over to Patrick's Rock just to play the board game and try it out. It was a fun, simple episode to just sit back and relax to. And I'm going to give Patrick the Game a 7 out of 10. So now I'm here to review the episode, The Sewers of Bikini Bottom. So The Sewers of Bikini Bottom is about when Squidward is in charge of Spongebob while Mr. Krabs is away because 
there's now a sports stadium named after the Krusty Krab called the Krusty Krab Stadium. So while Mr. Krabs is there, Squidward is in charge of looking after SpongeBob and just the Krusty Krab in general. Squidward, you know, he's giving SpongeBob all these orders just so SpongeBob would stop bugging him, but SpongeBob already did all the stuff at the Krusty Krab. And Squidward, of course, because he's Squidward, he just tells SpongeBob to flush random things in the toilet so of course Spongebob, he's gonna listen to Squidward. Squidward realized he made a mistake because Spongebob actually was doing that. But then for some reason, Squidward thought it looked like fun. So then Spongebob and Squidward are actually flushing all of these random things together in the toilet. Like they just keep flushing stuff after stuff after stuff. They go all crazy, they're just having a blast. But then the both of them realized they made a big mistake when they accidentally flushed the vault in the toilet. The vault that has the Krabby Patty secret formula inside. So, you know where it leads from here. SpongeBob and Squidward have to actually go down in the sewer to go get that vault back before, you know, Mr. Krabs comes back and they get in trouble. Before I tell you my thoughts on this episode, this is a very exciting episode to be talking about. And I know it is for my viewers out there that are still really into SpongeBob. One of the original writers of SpongeBob is actually back to write this episode and onward. It's very exciting because this writer is Kaz. And Kaz, he's known for writing SpongeBob episodes like The Nasty Patty, One Crab's Trash, Wet Painters, Chocolate with Nuts, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 5, Midlife Crustacean, I Had an Accident, and SpongeBob Meets the Strangler. And it's crazy to even know that over like literally over 10 years later, he comes back to write for SpongeBob. After he left, he worked on shows like Cap Laszlo, Phineas and Ferb. So it's just really cool to see him back here. How did he do for his comeback? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I loved this episode. I really adored the sewers of Bikini Bottom. Welcome back. Kaz. Kaz did a tremendous job writing this episode. I love that Spongebob and Squidward go on an adventure together in the sewer to go get the vault back. Squidward actually shows he cares for Spongebob. We actually see caring Squidward, not the heartless, careless, cruel Squidward. We would see in episodes like those shitty episodes, Who Bob What Pants, or of course, you all know my worst Spongebob episode of all time, Little Yellow Book. We don't see that Squidward here. We see the caring, funny, energetic Squidward, and I really appreciate that. Because Spongebob in this episode, he flushes himself down in the toilet to go get the vault back, and Squidward, surprisingly, instead of him doing the usual eh, whatever, he actually worries for SpongeBob because he knows that SpongeBob was his responsibility. So Squidward, even though he did not like it, he stepped inside the toilet and flushed himself so he could go in the sewer with SpongeBob. Now, when you hear Mr. Krabs is just at the Krusty Krab Stadium, you think it would be one of those subplots that's just there. But really, the subplot has a connection to the main plot, which I actually thought that was very clever on Kaz's part to do. I love that the main plot and the subplot are actually connected. Like, there's actually a point to the subplot in the sewers in Bikini Bottom. So in the subplot, it's Mr. Krabs at the Krusty Krab Stadium, and he deals with the sewer architect, because the sewer architect, I believe the name was Charles that the episode said, yeah. Charles the sewer architect is the one that created all the pipes and all that sewer stuff and Bikini Bottom. The subplot was actually really funny too, because he's just constantly worrying about the pump blowing up throughout the episode, and I really liked it, and not to mention that the sewer architect, he gets freaking crazy by the end. He wasn't one of those boring, 
yeah, I'm a sewer architect and I do things. Like, there was actually personality to the character. He was actually very interesting. And I just really like seeing that sewer architect just going back and forth, worrying about the sewer. I think that's what made the subplot just as entertaining as the main plot. I loved both plots equally honestly it's actually one of those episodes where the main plot and the subplot together are fantastic and that's due to the brilliant writing the wonderful execution the pacing too this episode has wonderful fast pacing to it but not the rush fast pacing at least for the most part it has the natural fast pace to it which i really liked and I also love the idea of a sewer snake. The sewer snake was really cool looking. I really love the character design. And not to mention that the episode kept me laughing throughout. I thought the ending was funny too, even though I have to point out right now, my only flaw with this episode is the ending being rushed. That's where it went from fast paced natural to rushed fast pacing in my opinion because the episode cuts to Charles the sewer architect going after the sewer snake popping the sewer snake which is flying like a balloon in which I will say to be honest that felt a little bit out of place in my opinion when the sewer snake was just flying around I know it's meant to be funny but I just found that a little out of place but then we cut to Spongebob and Squidward back into the Krusty Krab and then everyone just running out in which that part I found very funny and it was a funny way to end the episode and that's really it honestly guys the sewers in Bikini Bottom I loved and adored so much it is hands down one of the best Spongebob episodes of 2015 Cass just did a very awesome job writing the episode all around with a really awesome main and subplot that were really entertaining throughout the episode had really good pacing to it and that's why the Sewers of Bikini Bottom is going to get a 9 out of 10. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know. What did you think of the Spongebob episodes, Patrick, The Game, and The Sewers of Bikini Bottom? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!